little short YouTube clip for dual pump, dual heat exchanger factory OEM with a frozen boost 101 to show you how the flow goes. This is the feed line to the intercoolers up top, which comes out right here. Then divides into different banks. My pump took a shit, unfortunately, but I got a replacement. This is the bottom pump near the chauffeur side. 5CA, 5A, look at the flow, facing upwards, so it's like this. So it feeds in through here, this is the return, then it supplies, goes back up. You see, I'm moving it right here, I have it off right now, cause I gotta replace mine. Look at the flow as well, it comes out through the bottom of the side of the turbine. This is the second pump if you guys need the code, 5CA, 6A. Mind you, this ain't all. My, my bad for the day. This ain't no regular red sport that comes with two pumps. I hybrided this pump. If you if you look at the harness, I did this on myself. If you guys need explanations on this, you can hit me up or I can send you to a guy that helped me actually do it. I'm not going to take credit for his work. He's the one that actually taught me how to do it. So once it feeds this way, it supplies, it cycles through the entry point of the heat exchanger and comes back out and goes into the top side of the heat exchanger, comes right back out and then feeds all the way through, all the way uh, to here. And it's simple, literally, really simple. Let me get a bigger picture. So it comes on through the basin of behind, which is the parallel right here cycles up through the supply side comes again comes to the back side of this pump feeds it goes into the inlet of the heat exchanger the outlet cycles back up through here to the second auxiliary let's say heat exchanger supplies back all the way to the top comes back out and divides it